soon as you close it back up and you hand it to me, do I know whether it's loaded or not? I don't. Okay. So every firearm's loaded. The Reno Police Department's range master had a captive audience of local newsroom staff for a force-on-force -force training at the regional training center. Members of the media got some insight into when officers use force and how to shoot a gun. Allows us to kind of live in their shoes just ever so slightly, obviously. But allows us to learn just a real general sense of what decisions they make and how they how they train for their job. Have you learned that police officers have to make split decisions on a day-to-day -day basis, decisions that's kind of a joke, but it would take lawyers a month to make? Once the classmates got the basics about handgun safety, they tested their skills at the shooting range. Good. It was just a neat experience. I had never shot a weapon before. It was a lot of fun. You know, I think I got my inner Wyatt Earp on. This range is used four to five days a week. Uh, when we do any, any type of skill set training, such as less lethal munitions, firearms, defensive tactics, we hold to a 80% standard. The last phase of the Media Appreciation Day was force-on-force role-playing scenarios. This is how the Reno police actually practice in the event they have to pull the trigger. While some of the media personalities didn't do so good at this, it certainly gave them insight into why it's important to stay back while the crime is underway. We go to a lot of scenes where there might be a standoff and SWAT teams involved and there's a reason that they're keeping us away from the building. There's a reason they're keeping us far away and knowing what direction they're going when they've got their guns drawn is going to, I mean it makes perfect sense why they're keeping us behind them. It was a fun training with a serious undertone as the media learned how the Reno police prepare for a life or death situation.